Every year, millions of vacationers go south to Miami, Florida to bask in the sun. Many new travelers are venturing south of Miami into the group of islands known as the Florida Keys. A single highway connects over 200 keys and separates the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. 192 kilometers long, this road stretches as much as 11 kilometers without touching land. Almost the entire route has now been settled, all the way to the southernmost tip of the United States, Key West. Most people in the Florida Keys are preoccupied with one activity, fishing. small fee, there are large boats available, called head boats, which take as many as 30 people out to favorite fishing spots. The boat provides rods, reels, bait, and advice for the inexperienced. The expert and the beginner are kept busy here because these waters are teeming with fish. Over 600 varieties of fish thrive in the Gulf Stream. quieter waters of the Gulf of Mexico, shallow water fishing has its own special appeal. In one meter of water, stingrays, bonefish, sand sharks, flounder are carefully sought in flat bottom boats. On the Atlantic side lie the only living coral reefs bordering the United States. Scuba diving clubs from all over the country come to the Florida Keys to observe and photograph the beautiful fish that live alongside the coral. Among the permanent residents of the Florida Keys are the craftsmen skilled in the art of taxidermy. Thousands of fish caught all over the Keys are sent every day to this factory to be molded, shaped, and preserved. Key West is the lobster and shrimping capital of the United States. The nearby Gulf Stream serves as perfect spawning grounds. Lobster and shrimp actually migrate to these waters. Harvesting shrimp and lobster and processing them is a year-round activity. It's from Key West that much of the nation's seafood is delivered. So many kinds of fish thrive at this spot, joining the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. And where there's abundant fish, you'll find an abundance of fishermen.